What's up fragrance lovers and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and over here I love to discuss all things fragrance. So if you're someone that is into smelling good, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to be talking about spring to summer fragrances. To be honest with you guys, I feel like you can carry your spring fragrances right on into the summertime because in some parts of the world, it's already hot. You know what I mean? And here in Texas, I don't think we really have much of a spring season, if you will. Right now, it's raining a lot. And that's the only thing that really reminds me of springtime. Eventually, the sun is going to come out and it's going to get hot. It's been kind of like in the low 80s, um, 90s over the last couple of days. So it's not like extremely hot. But here we get a lot of humidity. So again, if you're somewhere where the climate is already warm, honey, just go ahead and wear them spring fragrances right on into the summertime and don't even put too much thought in it, okay? But I'm gonna give you guys some options that I feel like maybe you can add to your summer fragrances. A few of them are new to my collection and two of them are oldie but goodies. And I just have to mention them because they are really, really good. Let me start with the oldies the goodies first. Let's do that. Let's, let's switch this out, okay? We're gonna switch it out. The first one I wanna talk about is J'adore by Dior. Now, I'm a late bloomer, okay? Been that way all my life. I was the last to do everything, okay? All the girlies was already doing it, and here I come with my late tail catching up, okay? And I'm late to this fragrance. Not that I didn't know that it existed, but I didn't really know it was that good. Funny thing of it is, today is Mother's Day and I bought this for myself probably about two years ago for Mother's Day. Another fun fact is when I bought it, I was actually thinking about adding Forbidden Games by Killian to my collection and I decided not to. I think I actually bought that fragrance and took it back to the store because I already had Jador. And for some reasons, they smell very similar to me. This is a uh, kind of like a sweet white floral type of fragrance. I want to say there's a lot of fruity notes in the opening in this fragrance. And if I'm not mistaken, I feel like there's a lot of fruity notes in Forbidden Games as well. Bottom line of it is, they smell too much alike for me to keep the Forbidden Games in my collection. And plus, Killian is a bit pricey. I think I probably paid somewhere in the range of maybe $75 or $80 for this one. I just remember it being fairly affordable. I didn't spend a lot on this one. But this is a really, really pretty scent. I think it's a great fragrance to wear, especially if you're going into the office. If you're going to a, a summer event and you're going to be outside and you're like dressy, even a good date night in the summer, I think this fragrance would be really, really pretty. It's a little bit of a mature vibe to it. Yes, I will admit that. But I think this is one of those type of fragrances that it doesn't really give off its age, if that makes sense. You know, some fragrances you can smell, they smell like they was made in the 99s and the 2000s. This one, I wouldn't say that. I would say it still holds a little bit. I'm gonna spray it a little bit. It still kind of holds, it doesn't hold a youthful vibe. I mean, it does smell a little bit, just slightly mature, but that fruity opening and that musky note makes this fragrance so pretty. I think anybody any age can wear this fragrance, to be honest with you. I know a lot of y'all mamas and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. But uh, I know some of y'all mamas got a big bottle of this sitting on her dresser right now. And I can see why, because it is a beautiful, classy scent. I love the new one that they came out with that's in the white bottle that you can put in your hair and put on your skin and all that. I think that's amazing. Because if you won't come out with a flanker, okay, let me not go down that flanker. I'm not gonna go down that flanker rant because I know y'all tired of me ranting about the flankers but listen if you won't come out with a flanker make it a multi-purpose flanker okay something we can do something with and I love that whole idea of them allowing us to spread on our skin and hair that's amazing 
But as I'm smelling this fragrance, I get the fruity notes in the opening and I wanna say it's like pear, peach, yep. Pear, peach, melon, bergamot, so you know it's bright. You do get your white florals in here like magnolia, jasmine, tuberose, lily of the valley. I think lily of the valley is probably one white floral that I can actually vibe with. It doesn't it give me a headache or anything like that. Did I mention there's two bros in here? There's two bros, freesia, rose, orchid, plum, and violet. And in the base, you got that musk, vanilla, blackberry, and cedar. I simply think this is a beautiful scent. It's classic and classy. It doesn't smell dated at all to me. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent and definitely one that I will pull for in the summertime because of the musk. I think musk is a great note for me to wear, speaking for myself, in the summertime uh, because it's soft and pretty and I just love the smell of musk. The door will always be one of my favorite designer fragrances of all times. And it's simply amazing. Again, I love the fact that it doesn't smell dated. That's what I like. This, like I said, some of them 9-9s, some of them fragrances that was made in the 9-9s need to stay in the 9-9s. You feel me? Another oldie but goodie, and this is a very affordable fragrance. You can get this fragrance off Amazon. You probably can get it off of any discount website. And I love this fragrance because it reminds me a lot of Creed Aventus Her. And listen, I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I get tired of spending, okay? I get tired of spending. I get tired. I don't really <laughs> care to keep spending $200 on a bottle of perfume. I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. Like, I really, really don't. So anytime I can find me a dupe or a fragrance that gets close to something that I want that costs $200, I'm here for it every single time you understand and this one gets me real close to create a vintage her and this is laventure film by al haraman i want to say i probably spent child less than 40 dollars on this fragrance if that much it was super affordable but when i tell you guys this fragrance smells like create a vintage her it really really does and I've talked about this one before on my channel several times. This fragrance smells very aromatic. It has a very big presence to me. A lot of citrus, a lot of green notes like patchouli, so it does come off smelling a little earthy. And it has some woody notes in the base. So I'm not sure what the woody notes are. Let's just go ahead and look it up. So you're gonna get notes of pineapple, blackcurrant, bergamot, wild berries. In the mid, you get cedar, freesia, and rose. In the base, you get musk, sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. And the pineapple doesn't necessarily come off as sweet to me. I really don't know there's pineapple in here until I read the notes on Fragrantica. Pineapple is not something I get right away. I get a lot of bergamot. I get a lot of citrus in the opening of this fragrance. I wouldn't even necessarily say that I pull black currant because black currant, it looks like a grape, right? And it comes off very sweet and fruity. Sweet and fruity is not necessarily the first words that come to mind when I'm smelling this fragrance. If anything, I'm pulling a lot of cedar. I'm pulling a lot of musk. I'm getting amber. I may get a little bit of rose. It's me so close to Creed Aventus Her. I just don't even feel like it's necessary for me to spend that kind of money on this fragrance. I do actually have a small sample of Creed Aventus Her and the regular Creed Aventus. This does remind me of the regular Creed Aventus as well, the one for him. Again, it just puts me so close to that fragrance. I don't feel it that it's necessary for me to go out and spend that kind of money. I really, really don't. I really don't. If you guys have both of these, the Creed Aventus Her and the Al Haraman Laventure Film, comment down below and let us know how close in comparison that they come. But I love to wear these type of fragrances in the summertime. It gets so hot here, you guys. Like, 
literally i could be getting ready to go somewhere put on my makeup like i'm looking cute like you know what i'm saying as soon as i hit the door i'm met with heat and humidity and it is crazy by the time i get to my car i'm literally breaking out in a sweat so i like citrusy fragrances and green fragrances because i feel like they just mesh better when i'm in heat and when i'm sweating and things like that so i have a tendency to grab for fragrances like this and I'm definitely going to be grabbing for this in the summer. You guys should definitely check it out at that price point honey. You can't beat it. So about maybe two weeks ago I noticed that Nordstrom, was it Nordstrom? Yeah, was having a sale okay. I don't even know how I ended up on the website but I noticed that they were having a sale and it was like a nice little sale. It was like 35% off on some selected fragrances and Tom Ford was in that lineup and I knew I you know I love Tom Ford fragrances I wanted to add uh one or two to my clip well let me stop I was gonna add one I don't know about two I'm doing too much but I knew I was gonna add one and so I ended up going with white suede and I want to say this is from his uh, private blend collection this has notes of time tea and those are in the top there's lily of the valley saffron and rose in the mid and in the base you get suede musk sandalwood olibanum and amber y'all i love this fragrance oh my god now i will tell you at initial spray this fragrance does remind me a lot of kaoli's musk 12. it's the same type of musk that's in here and i picked that up i didn't know that suede and musk would go so well together but see the thing that you have to be careful with well for me anyway when it comes to leather and fragrances and i i do consider suede to be a leather a lot of those notes are very synthetic and they come off smelling synthetic i was really happy when i smelled this because this was a total blind buy for me i was happy with the musk and the suede combination and with the white florals I think this fragrance is so beautiful. I can just see myself wearing this fragrance outside and I have on a cute sundress and the wind is blowing and it's just, you know, catching my fragrance and just creating this beautiful sillage. Like, I love this. I literally spray this all over my body, y'all. That's how much I love this fragrance. It is just really, really amazing. I think it's really, really good. And I think it's perfect to wear in the summertime and I can't well I already been wearing it so I just can't say I can I can't wait because honey I've been wearing this fragrance I absolutely love it it is so stunning musk is another fragrance that I enjoy wearing a lot in the summertime I think I already said that to y'all but yeah I love to wear musk in the summertime I just think that it's just so beautiful and soft and feminine it's just something about the smell of musk that really 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 turns me on like i'm not in that way but in the whole way of making me feel pretty i don't know musk just makes me feel pretty when it has something exotic added to it like suede it just like sends me i love when musk has like fruity notes and things like that added to it as well it's just amazing i love musk i love musk if you love musk thumbs up this video okay but I enjoy this fragrance. It was money well spent. I've been blind buying a lot lately. I probably bought four fragrances this year and I am four and oh, which means that I've liked all four that I bought, not sending any of them back, not selling them. So I'm really, and I blind bought all of them. So I feel like I'm really, really, really doing good for myself. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all know blind buying, just works my nerves fragrances you know they pricey they expensive and just getting a fragrance that i don't like girl it's so disappointing to me it's like doing the do and you don't get no orgasm you know what i'm saying like disappointing like that i don't like that i don't like that you know what i mean like mm -mm. So like i said earlier i am into more citrusy notes when it comes to summertime fragrances i just think they go better with me in the heat um and i have this one this is new i don't know if i've talked to you guys about this one i think i did 
a, a reel on Instagram, but I'm not sure if I really got into this fragrance with you guys. This is called Lime Sands from Skylar. And this is interesting to me because I didn't know if I would like it. I think there's a difference between lemon and lemon zest and lime, okay? Lemon zest has a little bit more oomph to it. That's like the actual peeling from a lemon, just in case y'all ain't know. But lime is something different. Like I like to cook with lime. I like to put lime in certain dishes and foods and stuff like that. I didn't really know how I was gonna feel wearing a predominantly lime fragrance on my skin. So I had my fingers crossed, but I actually like this fragrance. I think this would probably be a fragrance that I would layer with, um, more so than wearing it on its own, because it does have a little tendency to remind me of a cleaning product. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not dogging it. I think the fragrance is really, really nice. But you know, go in your kitchen right now and I guarantee you, you got some Clorox wipes or you got some dishwashing liquid or even some laundry detergent that has some type of lemon zest in it. And that's what this kind of reminds me of. It reminds me of something that I would use like to clean my home with. And I didn't know how that was gonna translate on my skin. Anyway, but let's get to the notes in this fragrance. Top, you have lime, salt, verbena. That is what I was smelling and I could not put a name to it. Verbena, I love the smell of verbena. In the middle, you have coconut water, orange blossom, lily of the valley. In the base, you have musk, driftwood, and vanilla. What are they comparing this fragrance to so you guys can kind of have a reference? Ah, one of my favorites! They're comparing it to Coconut Lime Verbena by Bath & Body Works, which I don't think they make anymore. Do they make this? I used to rock the hell out of Coconut Lime Verbena back in the day. Oh, that used to be one of my favorites. Okay, so if you remember Coconut Lime Verbena from Bath & Body Works, that is what this fragrance is giving. It is definitely giving that. I pick up the saltiness in the opening. I pick up that verbena and lime for sure. I do get a little musk in this fragrance, kind of in the dry down. I don't know how to describe driftwood to you, but I would assume it would come off smelling a little woody. And I don't get much woods in this fragrance. I don't get much vanilla either. I would say this fragrance is not sweet at all. So there is a note of orange blossom in here. Y'all know orange blossom to me comes off very sweet and syrupy, but not in this fragrance. This is definitely giving me coconut lime verbena from Bath & Body Works, and I used to rock that fragrance all the time. Love that fragrance, so yeah. If you by chance love coconut lime verbena, you're gonna love Lime Sands from Skylar Clean Beauty. Again, another fragrance that I think would be great for the summer, great for going to the gym, great if you work out outside in the heat, okay, bless y'all. Great if you're gonna be outside picnicking, kayaking, barbecuing, dancing, child, whatever you're doing, outside in the heat. I think this would really, really go well with that that type of situation, okay? For sure. Oh my God, this is bringing back so many memories now. They, oh my goodness. A new one for me. I recently uh, was gifted this fragrance and I'm, I'm, I like it. I'm still on the fence with it. I, I'm gonna wear it during the summertime and see, you know, what it's gonna give, but it has a lot of woodiness in this fragrance and a lot of rose. Now, the reason why I would grab for this, maybe nice if I tell y'all what the fragrance was, huh? This is Dom Rosa Melissa May. But the reason why I would grab for this in the summertime, well, number one, because of the rose. I think this is a really pretty rose. It's not doing too much, but it's definitely in this fragrance. Like, you can't miss it. But that champagne pop, that champagne note, it can really scream summertime for me. So 
I want to see what this is going to do in the heat for me, honestly, because like I said, you guys know, I did a whole video on this fragrance. I will link it up top. I always say I'm going to link stuff up top and I never link it. <sighs> Go back and watch my video that I just did on Dom Rosa Melissa May, okay? Go back and watch my video. But y'all know I'm on the fence with this fragrance as far as making it a love. Sometimes the love doesn't come until later in like a, like most of our relationships, right? I'm just being honest. But I'm thinking the love is going to come later on. I'm thinking the love is going to come later on. I get a fragrance and it's an instant love, automatic like that. I ain't got to worry about it. And sometimes I get a fragrance and it's just a like, you know? It's just a like. Sometimes life is like that. What can you do? But then again, six months from now, I could be so in love with this fragrance and it's just weird how things happen like that with me and fragrances. Does that happen to you as well? Let me know. Hopefully I'm not the only one. But I want to see what this is going to do in the heat, in the high heat. I want to see what it's going to do. I want to see how it's going to act. So yeah, I'm really, really curious to see it. And I'm gonna wear it in a high heat too. Like it's gonna be hot when I wear this fragrance. But I feel like this is like a very, because of that woodiness in the base, I feel like this would really perform well any season. I feel like that. The woods I think would really push through in the cold months, but we shall see. Y'all know I'm gonna spin back and let y'all know how this fragrance is acting this summer okay but i like this fragrance i like it it smells very expensive okay it has a very expensive feel to it and we gonna see girl we gonna see i know a lot of you have the um original dom rosa which i still need to get my nose on because i haven't smelled that one yet but a lot of you say that the melissa may just hits harder it's um a little louder so that's been the um response that i've gotten when i've asked that question those were my five fragrances that i would recommend transitioning from spring to summer more than likely i'm gonna do another summer video for you guys when it actually gets like hot most of my fragrances probably will be i don't know i think i'm gonna switch it up i think i'm gonna switch it up because what i found out is that fragrances that I thought would not perform well in the summertime actually end up being beast fragrances in the summertime. So we gonna switch it up a little bit cause I wanna get out of that frame of mind that I can only wear certain fragrances during certain seasons. I mean, some fragrances you really can't help but to, but I wanna switch it up a little bit. I wanna play with some fragrances that I have here that I think would actually surprise me this summertime. That's what I'll do. So we'll do a follow-up video for that. But if you have any of the fragrances I talked about in this video, comment down below. If you're into fragrances, or maybe you wanna learn more about a fragrance, maybe you wanna build your fragrance collection, whatever the case may be, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any videos. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It lets me know that you enjoy my content. It also lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content as well. And they push up your girl videos. So hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful Mother's Day. And I hope you are smelling good doing it. I will see you in the next video. Mwah.